Hey guys, what's up? Cardaga here, and today I'm here with another Nenoroid unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing the Nenoroid Caster Nitrokis from Big Grand Order, and I did order this um, with the Good Smile Shop online shop exclusive. So we'll open this uh, later. But let's just open her first. So if you guys didn't know, I, I'm I'm a fan of Fate Grand Order or Fate in general. And we haven't really, we haven't really um, opened one in a while, so I decided to, you know, pick her up and open her. So, well, I actually got this a while ago. I got I got her when she, she first released back in two thousand eighteen, I think, or two thousand nineteen. Sorry, in May uh, May of two thousand nineteen. But uh, I haven't really had a chance to open this because I have too many other nanoids to open. So we'll 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 check her out. Uh, so she was retailing at five thousand three hundred and seventy yen. So she was pretty expensive, uh, but I do think she gets a lot of parts. So I think that's good. And again, she re released in May of two thousand nineteen. I think she's kind of hard to get now because she is kind of a popular character. I'm mainly a fan of her voice actress, so yeah. Alright, let's have a look at the main figure as usual. And this is a manufactured, is this another uh, Nanoroid manufactured by Good Smell Company, so quality should be there. Oh! Don't worry, it's just a piece of plastic. Alright, we'll put these away first. What I did notice is this only has one blister, so this, this should be quite um, a fast unboxing. So this, these are all the parts she comes with. Alright. So, let's have a look at her. out there we go and all the plastic is off all right so here is the wrist so obviously she's an Egyptian themed character so she has a very very Egyptian uh, ornaments and headpieces and st stuff like that I haven't actually ordered the Ozymandias um, Nanorid I re kind of regret that I, I really want to pick him up so I'll probably try to get him um, as early as possible when he officially releases. But anyway, let's look at her. So as you can see, there's a lot of um. She her skin tone is very different from uh, regular Nanoroid. It's a lot darker. So I, a lot of her parts are not compatible with the other Nanoroids, but that's fine because I think she comes with quite a few Nanoroids uh, herself. Or, I mean accessories herself. So let's see. Let's look at the detail. So overall, pretty good. Um, the gold paint is applied pretty well. There's no really uh, mis paints or anything. Like that there's a little bit here, just a little bit, but it's not really noticeable. I don't think really you can really see it on camera. And joints nice pretty good might be a little bit loose here it's fine there too and her hair does have shading on it and her ears are articulated so you can move them around I'm kind of worried because because uh, it's been in the box for a while, so I think this might have stuck a bit. It's not really moving, and I think if I move it too much, it might snap. So I'm kind of worried about that. I'll, I'll figure it out later. I'll probably like uh, heat it up a bit so it can move. And her outfit, 
It's pretty good. It's semi-transparent. Her skirt is uh, semi-transparent. And you can kind of see her part here is a little lewd, but that's okay. Don't really want lewd on Nenroid. So let's uh, look at her accessories. So here is her first faceplate. So this is her shouting face. This is a face that you would do when she's uh, using her noble phantasm. And then here is her serious face with a little bit of blush. blush. That's pretty cute. Next, you will have her staff. So this is just one solid color. It's a little bit of a engraving in there, so that's pretty nice. So there's that. And next we have extra parts. So this is for the bottom of her hair. So I kind of take this out this in. There we go. So this part should move, but I'm kind of worried that, that this part's going to snap. It feels like it's not budging, so if only the top part is moving and the bottom part's not moving, it's definitely going to snap, so be careful with that. So here is the Medjed figure. This is the Medjed it comes with. Very cute. Kind of like the main highlights of this figure. Obviously it's very basic, but it's still very cute. Uh, this thing, you'll, you'll need a stand to hold it up. Uh, I'm not going to try to move this yet because I think I, th I I probably can take this out and let's try I'm kind of scared actually ooh alright I'm so scared it's going to get white marks So here it is. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah. This, this one is super loose here. Which is better than being super, super tight cuts. It's less easy to snap. And then next we have her stand pack. So um, this figure does not have a second blister, but it does have a stand pack with a lot of extra arms and legs in there. So she actually has a lot more accessories than I thought. So let's uh, kind of uh, open these up. <laughs> All right, so here are the two extra legs you get. So these are for bendy legs. Pretty self explanatory. I'm not going to install them uh, in this video because I'll probably just save it for the B roll. But we will try to change the hands, the, the arms. So here is a bendy arm for her. I guess this is kind of used to hold the staff. That looks pretty good. The right arm also has a bendy arm version. So you can kind of uh, use it to have her hold the staff 
two hands. Let's try that. Yeah, that works. That works pretty well. And then you have other hands. So this is in their hand arm. So this is angled differently. So this one's straight. You look there. And this one is an angle, so you can have different angles of her holding the staff, which is pretty good. And then this is just a regular closed palm hand. Kind of like, kind of like this. Whereas her other hand was like that. So, pretty good. No fist hands. That's fine. She doesn't really need a fist anyway. And with the stand you get a few accessories. So first, you have her, obviously, the stand for the Nendoroid. And then you have the stand for the Medjed. And I guess this is also for the, um, this is for something else. What is it for? This is for, oh, I think, yeah, okay. So this is for the back of this Android. She has a part here. A back, I guess it's like, kind of like a back accessory. Thing. I don't really know what you call those. Background? We'll call it a background for now. So this is the background. I think this is Anubis. And then you have other effects. Inside that pack you also have this. Uh, it's a little bit lazy in my opinion to just print these out and then use it as an effect. But that's kind of okay. And this is used with this here. I mean, obviously it would be better if they gave us actual plastic effects. But I guess if... I guess this, this Nenor has quite a few accessories already, so that's kind of okay. But yeah, and then you put this back here. So that looks pretty good. And of course, last but not least, we have to unbox the extra part. I believe it's another medjab with a, a different expression. But I don't remember actually. So we'll, we'll, we'll find out together. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a angry face. Yes. So I don't usually get stuff with um, with web store exclusives, but I thought this was really really cute, so I had to get it because the angry Medjeb is better than the regular face. There you go. Oh no! Alright. So here it is. Angry face. Oops. Oh no. Okay. Got a little bit of dust on it. So the egg the legs are articulated, so that's pretty good. That's just super cute. Super super cute. So we'll just uh quickly put that on. And there we go. So cute. All right. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. Overall, uh, I think that for the price, you get quite a good amount of accessories and parts to play with. So I think this is a pretty good Nenorin to get. Uh, again, I am very, very worried about this. So I'm just going to try to warm this up and try to move her around. But... Um, 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for this Nidoran review. Overall, very good if you're a fan of Nidoran, but you definitely, definitely have to pick it up. If you're trying to collect all your fate Nidoran, I guess you'll have to pick this up too. And it, even if you're, uh, this might be your first Nidoran, I, I, I kind of doubt, but I think uh, she will be a very good entry point too. Because you have a lot of stuff to play with and a lot of things to uh, take photos of. So I think she's a good introductory Nidoran too. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Karotaku, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!